What's up, everybody? Keith Mitchell here. And yesterday, or actually on November 16th, 2020, I released a video talking about the native DualSense support thanks to a Steam beta client. However, I also noticed after doing that, that a number of people have been having issues with running this update or had a controller already configured and are running into conflicts or just aren't very familiar with the actual process. So I figured I'd go ahead and make another video that explains all these different things and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully help some people get this issue resolved with the conflicts. So first and foremost, I'm gonna tackle this in several segments. The first one is people who don't have the new update and I rolled this machine back and already have a controller configured in Steam. So first and foremost, let's go to the account. We see that I'm not participating in any betas. However, my DualSense controller is working because I went ahead and I set it up as a generic gamepad. I went through and did the button configuration. So what we wanna do now is we want to get rid of this. And there's no way to actually do this within Steam. So what you have to do is you actually have to physically do this yourself. To do this, we're gonna go ahead and log out of Steam. We wanna to go to services within Windows and we wanna stop the Steam service. Once the service is stopped, we wanna go back to processes. We wanna make sure that every Steam process has been closed. So search through this entire thing. Make sure everything that is Steam is closed because if, if it's not, when you try to do the next steps, you're gonna have an issue. Like see right here, Steam is still running. So we kill that. This will kill those, Steam is gone. We go back to service, make sure service is still stopped. It is. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to this directory. Now, this is the default directory for Steam. Yours may have changed. You may have made some changes to it, whatever. If you did make a change, make sure you go to that directory. Mine is in Steam or up to C colon program files x86 Steam. And there's a configuration folder called config. In here, there are multiple files. Yours might be bigger because I deleted this trying to get the process working properly. Within this file, you can open it up. And there are configurations regarding your Steam directories, your information regarding your machine, pretty much everything. And at the bottom is where we set up the generic information for Eric Pad. So what we want to do is we want to exit out of that and we want to blow away this config, delete it, or you can rename it save it to another folder whatever it just needs to be out of here now once you do that you can go back to steam fire steam back up it's going to ask you for your login information so make sure you log back in and then with the blessing of the pc gods go back to steam go back to settings Go back to controller and then general controller settings and the information that we set up for that wireless controller has been wiped clean so this is the first step if you had already configured a controller you're going to need to do that step once you do that step we can now exit this and we can go back to steam account and change from not participating to participate in the steam beta update. It will say, hey, this thing won't take effect until you restart Steam, that's fine. And we restart Steam, and then Steam will download a bunch of new files to your directory, and we'll wait while that's done. So while we're waiting, we'll go back and take a look at the config file. And we'll go back to the bottom. And you'll see that everything that we did for the generic controller setup is now gone. This is the outcome that we want. Close this out so it doesn't overwrite anything while Steam's doing its thing. Eventually, Steam will start back up. Once it starts back up, we will log back in Steam. All right, so it's back up, log back in. And then Steam will go, hey, congratulations, I'm still working. We will head back to settings. We will head back to account to make sure it is using the Steam beta, and it is. And then we'll go to controller. Go to general controller settings. And then look. It now says, hey, I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller. Now it's called 
the DualSense controller because I had named it in my config. So it came back as that. Yours may come back as something different or et cetera, et cetera. It may not. Totally depends on what you've done. However, for me, that's what's happening here. So now I exit this out. Now, with that done, we'll hit the PlayStation button on the controller. And now we have full functionality with the controller as we shown in the video yesterday. However, what happens if you want to go ahead and revert back? Say you want to get rid of using the DualSense controller. Well, it's pretty simple. We just go back and we do the same thing that we just did. However, we'll do it backwards. So Steam has stopped and I usually just go ahead and start Steam again. I, I don't trust Windows that much that I will tell it to go ahead and start again because see it errored out. Not sure why I did that, but that's fine. We can still do this manually. So we want to go through, make sure there's no reference of Steam running anywhere. Does not appear to be any. There's no app running with Steam. Okay, good. So we'll fire Steam back up, all back in. We will go to Steam, Settings, Accounts, Beta, Change Beta, and we'll go back to None, we'll opt out. Steam will restart while Steam is doing its thing. We'll wait. And that file will likely update again, but that's okay because we're going to blow it away once Steam starts. So Steam is going to take a second to install. There it goes. It caught up. It's going to log me back in. Well, it's not going to log me back in. See, it started up. So the server started back up. Steam's going to go, hey, log in. We're not going to log in. We're going to go, no, we don't want to log in. We're going to stop the service. The service has stopped. We're going to go ahead once again and make sure that every reference of Steam. All right, Steam is stopped. We are going to go back and make sure that every reference of Steam has also been stopped. So we're going to go back to the task manager, which closed on me. We're going to go check for Steam. And I know this process is tedious, but you got to do it. You got to make sure that every reference of Steam has been, has been stopped. Not there. And typically when you stop the main service, it also stops. But as you saw at the beginning of the video, it doesn't always do that. All right, so Steam has stopped. All right, we're gonna go back to this configuration file, go to the bottom. And see the PlayStation 5 controller is still there, it saved it. So I'm just gonna blow everything away. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna close it. Steam is still stopped, Steam hasn't started. Now I'll go back to Steam and I'll start it up again. Steam is started, log in. All right, Steam is open. We'll go ahead and verify that we're no longer on the beta. We're not, we'll go back to the controller. We'll go to general controller settings. And once again, it is showing up as a wireless controller and there is no configuration setup. If we take the controller, we unplug it from our USB type C controller and we plug it back up. It does nothing. I should give it a little longer time or actually I'll just exit it out. I'll force it to do it. Exit out, go back to general controlling settings. There's no controller in place. We'll take that off. Plug the controller in. And it shows up as wireless control yet again. There is no configuration. The controller does not work properly. There is nothing set up. It is pretty much useless unless you go in and manually configure it yourself once again. So last step, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back again and enable the beta. I'm just doing this to be uh, as straightforward as possible. So there's no questions or possibility of this screwing up. So. The configuration was already blown away. The config that ha has no reference of the DualSense controller whatsoever. All right, great. So we're gonna tell Steam to install the client one more time, the new beta client. And while we're doing this, I'm going to unplug the DualSense controller. It is now unplugged. So once Steam does its thing, 
and it reinstalls the update, we will plug back in the DualSense controller and it will pop up saying, hey, I'm a PlayStation 4 controller. But right now, that's the functionality of the DualSense controller. It does everything you need to do with the exception of the feedback, of the gyro, and the trackpad doesn't work as a touch screen, but you still can use it as a button. So settings, beta is there, controller, general controller settings, excuse me, and we'll plug it back up. Give it a couple seconds. And it's back. Now we go to the controller and we look at the fine layout. All the buttons are already mapped. Everything is good to go. I can cancel out of there. I can get out of here. I can hit the PlayStation button on the controller. And so everybody, there you go. We've showed you how to uninstall any configuration that you may have put in place, how to install the beta client, how to verify that the DualSense controller is visible. And then we went ahead and reversed the process and then went, went back and redid it again. So there should be no questions now on how to remove existing configurations from your Steam and how to install the beta and verifying that the DualSense controller is connected and then verifying how to get rid of it once again. Now, I'm going to leave mine intact. I'm not going to go back and doing it, but I did this for you guys for science. So now you know how to do everything that you need to do. And as always, thank you for watching the video. If you learned something, maybe give us a follow. Know, maybe say something nice in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up as well. This has been Keith Mitchell, and I'll see you guys all in another video. Take care.